Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got another problem from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. The parent's genotypes are as follows. So this is genotype of parent 1, this is genotype of parent 2 and we do a cross. So which assume simple dominance and independent assortment. What proportion of the progeny will be expected to be phenotypically the same as a parent 1. So this is going to be parent 1 and this is going to be parent 2. So let me, uh, let me write down these genotypes one more time. And this is genotype of parent 1, capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, and capital C and small c. And we cross with another genotype of parent 2, which is capital A, small a, small b, small b, and small c small c. So this is going to be parent 1 and this is parent 2. So if we do a cross, what is the probability that progeny would be phenotypically the same as parent 1? If some of you think that uh, this organism uh, has uh, six genes, this is not so. This is gene A, this is gene B, and this is gene C. And because this is diploid organism, uh, each uh, gene is present in two copies, which we call alleles. So, uh, for example, for gene A, it has the same two copies. For gene B, it has the same two copies, which is dominant. And for gene C, this organism has one dominant allele, another recessive allele. So each uh, allele of course would be found on the different um, homologous chromosomes, one inherited from mother side, another inherited from the father side. And genotype of parent 2 is different. So for example for gene A it is heterozygous, for gene B it, it is homozygous recessive and for the gene C also homozygous recessive. So uh, because we are told that this is a simple Mendelian genetics, simple dominance and independent assortment, we have to assume that these three genes are uh, on the different chromosomes. So we would see independent assortment. If these genes would be on the same chromosome, uh, our calculations would be different because we have to take into account the distance between the genes and um, as far as we are told that uh, these genes are on the different chromosomes, we just calculate uh, probability of the uh, same phenotype in the progeny as phenotype of parent 1. And for example, for the gene A, this parent is homozygous dominant and parent 2 is heterozygous. So let's build simple Punnett square. So parent 1 on top and genotype is capital A, capital A. Genotype of parent 2 on the side, it is going to be capital A and small a. Now let's build simple Punnett square and we can predict outcome of such a cross. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here and capital A small a here. In order for the progeny to show the same phenotype for the gene A, uh, progeny uh, just need one dominant allele. And uh, the second allele can be any, whether also dominant or recessive, but phenotype would be the same. So phenotype of this genotype and phenotype of this genotype would be the same. It is going to be dominant. So what is the probability that the progeny would show the same phenotype as uh, parent 1? And as you see, 100% of the progeny would have uh, the same uh, phenotype as parent 1. So uh, here we may have a small a, but phenotype would be the same as parent 1. Let's now consider gene B and parent 1 is homozygous dominant and parent 2 is heterozygous. So once again, genotype of the parent 1 on the top, 
and genotype of the parent 2 here on the side. And once again we build Punnett square and this time genotypes would be as follows capital B small b here, capital B small b here, capital B small b here and capital B small b here. So 100% of the progeny would be heterozygous. So would be heterozygous but in order to show the same phenotype as parent 1 we just need one dominant allele because those 100% of the progeny would be heterozygous phenotype would be the same as in parent 1 and as for the last gene gene C parent 1 is heterozygous parent 2 is homozygous recessive so one, one more time we build a Punnett square capital C small c this is parent 1 and small c small c here on the side and this time genotypes and phenotypes ratio going to be as follows so capital C small c here small c small c here capital C small c here and small c small c here as you, as you see 50 percent of the progeny going to show the same phenotype as parent 1 and another 50 percent of the progeny going to show um, homozygous recessive uh, genotype or recessive phenotype as parent 2 so 100 percent the same phenotype as parent 1 here 100 percent the same phenotype as parent here and 50 percent we have here that give us the following uh, calculations 1 multiplied by 1 and multiplied by 1 half so the answer would be 1 half or 50 percent of the progeny um, of such a cross would have the same phenotype as parent 1 and uh, only two phenotypes are possible here uh, all the progeny would be dominant for the gene A uh, all the progeny would be dominant for the gene B would show dominant phenotype and only this gene in 50% of the progeny we may see the same dominant phenotype as in parent 1 and another 50% of the progeny would have a small c small c here or would show the same phenotype as parent 2. So as you see our answer today to this question would be 50% of the progeny would show the same phenotype as parent 1. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.